name is Willie. Willie Beeman and all my fans, they scream and think you can defeat me. Y'all dreaming. <laughs> Willie Beeman. Yeah, we got this stack in and they said it wasn't pumping. I think I know why it's not pumping, but that does not look good. Ugh. Let's see what it says. These are great stack units. Um, they usually come in with drain problems and there's stuff lodged in it. And usually there's a rear bearing squeal. Oh no, what did they do? Yeah, I think we got a receptacle problem. Definitely a hot leg there. Loose That's connection. Nice. Oh yeah, back bearing, it needs a rebuild. I don't hear the pump, betcha there's something in it. Ow. That's where the old steel toes come in handy. <laughs> Two Phillipses. And the front comes off. Notorious for getting stuff in there. Let's just see. Yep. Pump's probably fine. I don't know why, but these things spin and drain at the same time. So I guess the sock floats up and comes right over the edge and down into the pump from right there Boop. every time hopefully it didn't mess it up but we'll check it Oh yeah. Hey, hey. That looks cool. So I usually like to just go ahead and throw the front back on these units because it keeps everything square when you're working on the top. Steel toes coming in handy again. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment. I'll get back to you. Just gotta take these two Phillipses out, then that middle section comes right out. Sometimes there's a second panel that covers that section there behind this one, but Boop. this one is gone. Boop. Boop. This one is missing the small Phillips on that board on that right side, so somebody's definitely already been in it. You want to fight? Ha! Boop, 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 boop. This is where it gets to be a pain because I'm short and I gotta stand on a bucket to get up here. And there's like 11 or 12 more Phillips oh. to get this top off.
All right, now just these last few on this side. Then we can take those bottom two Phillipses off the front panel, but you gotta be careful because it'll come tumbling down. It almost knocked me in the head. have to lift the rear ball out of its cup on the back of the dryer so the tub has to come up about a half about an inch inch and a half to be like that. <laughs> Surprise it didn't. Yeah, it did rub on that. Wow. goes right there. New cup. Screws bracket. Juice. And screws for that. Alright. Just like this. You can just start the screws by hand into this back little plate and then put the ball bearing in then do the other one it's real simple but these things are great units and they sell good and they last for a long time you can probably get you know 50 60 shares of ulti out of this thing if you sell it all right take this little lubricant and take a slice there we go. That might be a little much. Whoops. All right, we'll take our doohickey here, set it on the ground, take the tub, set it on top. And then our screws, it's already threaded. Makes it easy. Just get one lined up, then we can spin it. Like. 
it squished it out. So getting the front back on is the most awkward part because you have to catch the lip of the drum and lift it at the same time to get it on top. All right, we'll get these flat ones. One. at the back. See front, back, and the top goes under that lip. See? Because these screws screw into this. Well, it bled me a little. Yeah like a paper cut. Big one. Ah, right there. Small one. Big one, small one. This side was missing, so it just gets one. Catch the little tally wax. Eh. It's bent. There we go. Tally wax caught. Fix that. Ha! That is way more better. And heat. Just a buzzer. No jingle jangle. All right, no more squeak, and now we're draining. Alrighty, y'all, that was a quick, easy fix. Pull the sock out of a pump and a rear bearing on a Frigidaire stack washer. If you don't mind, hit that like and subscribe to the channel. Later. Thanks for watching, y'all. Come back, you hear? <laughs>